All right. So I started on the cover a little bit here just because save on time a little bit. I added a cute little thing in the back. This is going to be my focal point. I figured this would be cool underneath it just to add a little something so it ain't all you know just about the flowers in the background and I'm probably going to use dab attack a lot with this one because it's a lot of cloth and I'm trying to use the last of this fabric tack that I have so and it's very difficult if you can't tell to use And I know it's very gloopy, but with fabric on fabric and everything, just makes it easier. And my phone's going off, which is no big deal because it's on vibrate. And then I have these cute little things right here, cute little flowers. And this one is going to be for B. Because I am going to put buttons on these. I need to make sure I put them on the right side though, so... It looks kind of weird that I'm not having it directly to it. That's probably why. Yeah, I think this one's done. I just don't think there's any more left in it. I'm just gonna use some white glue. It works just as good. Even though people tell you they don't, it don't, it does. It ain't as permanent, but does work for what I'm using it for.
They're all tiny white ones. But figured put some buttons down on this. Make it look cute. Add a little bit of a charm to it. And yes, I didn't add any embellishments to the buttons. I don't like adding string to the buttons. I think it doesn't look as great. But some people are into that, so this is what it looks like that front cover. I think it looks cute. The cover now. And that was our first button. Okay. Now this next one might take a little bit, but we'll see. I really liked this part of this book, so I am personally choosing to, this is an Edith Holden, I think it's a very pretty book page but at the same time I like using my Edith Holden for what I bought it for junk journaling what I'm doing. I'm going to quickly do this with all the papers that I'm going to be using today, or with this particular project, just because I want to get this out of the way right away, inking. I love the inking, but hate it all at the same time. But I do love using inking when I do the ripped papers like this. I just think it adds a little bit more charm to it. Adds definition. This is me changing up a time card. Which I think I need to make shorter. So I'm just going to do something real quick with it to make it a little tiny bit shorter. I just have a feeling it's going to be too tall for our pages. Now it isn't. I don't know 
why I'm doing that side. I'm actually making this into a tuck. So. And I know I'm making it into a tuck, so why would I add something as silly as that? was getting globbered so I had to fix that globber a little bit here all right now I can get back to what I was doing I know I'm doing just simple button projects but again I thought this would be fun to do And if you haven't noticed, I kind of like doing my buttons in threes. I don't like having them be just one button. I kind of like them in threes. These antique buttons I got from my mom, actually. Wait, I'm putting the hole in this till we're done with this one. So, this is our cute little pocket here. I think it's very pretty. Now I'm going to quickly do this tag. And I know it's somewhat pre-made, but... And I do print off my ephemera with cardstock so it's a little thicker and this way I don't have to do much when it comes down to putting it in the book
All right. Now, I know I have a hole punch, but this one has a smaller thing, my crocodile, here. So I kind of want the smaller hole. So I'm going to do use it with a smaller hole. And then I have this cute little like twirl stuff and I really like it so I'm going to use that with these. And I'm not using a whole lot, I'm just cutting off little small bits for it. and. These tags will, I think I'm just going to set them in with the card we just did, or time card we just redid, so for right now anyways, I don't know about later on, but for right now, just stick them in there. If I decide that I want to switch tags around, I probably will. But this is challenge B. You'll probably be seeing it tomorrow. I just figured I had time to make a video. Might as well make a video. Quit making excuses on why I can't make a video. So, our cute little tags inside the cute little tuck pocket that I made out of a time card. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.